Okay, so welcome back. In this video, we will now finally discuss how good are the different kernels, and we have already seen the quantity. We the quantities we need to consider are the second moment of the kernel and the roughness of the kernel. So it's now just a matter of gathering this information and putting it all together. So let's see what we do. I have written out the two formulas here we had for the error. The mean squared error for fixed x is this, which depends on x. The integrated mean squared error from the previous section, if you work it out, is that. Now, we have already seen that splits quite nicely into contributions from different sources of error. So there's n, the sample size. You see if n goes larger, the error goes down. That's the first contribution. Then here, it's the same for both terms. It's a contribution which comes from the choice of kernel. And finally, here is a contribution which comes from the unknown density function f. And in this section, we will look at what do we get from the choice of kernel. So we are looking at this part. And in particular, we are looking at roughness of k squared times second moment of k. That with a positive exponent goes then as a multiplicative factor into the errors. So we want that small. So we need that to be small. And there are two things you can do. First, you can just try given kernels and work out what the numeric value of that quantity and then pick the kernel of the ones you have tried, which has the smallest value. In the notes, I show you the uniform kernel, and here I want to very quickly show you the triangular kernel just to see how that's done. Example, triangular kernel. So here we have a kernel function which looks like that. So k of x is 1 minus x if x is in the interval 0 to 1, and x plus 1 if x is in the interval minus 1 to plus 1 and zero otherwise. So what we need first is second moment. So mu two of k is integral x squared k of x dx. And since x squared is symmetric and the kernel is symmetric, it's clear the contribution from the right triangle and from the left triangle is the same. So what we can do is we can say two times integral from zero to one x squared. And now I know which interval I'm in, so I can just write 1 minus x dx here. And that's now rather easy. Namely, that is 2 times integral x squared dx minus 2 times integral x to the 3 dx. And that is 2 times primitive of x squared is 1 third x to the 3. So the integral is 1 third. Primitive of x to the 3 is 1 quarter x to the 4. So minus 1 quarter. And that's 2 over 12 is 1 6. Good. So that was easy. Then roughness of k is integral k squared of x dx from minus infinity to plus infinity. And again, by symmetry, I can write 2 times integral 0 to 1 k squared of x dx is integral 0 to 1. And then I get 1 minus x squared dx is integral 0 to 1, and I don't try to be clever, I just write 1 minus 2x plus x squared. So it's 1 minus 2 times 1 half plus 1 third, and I forgot the 2 here, so let's add the 2. So it's 2 times, these two terms cancel, 2 times 1 third is 2 third. And here is the quantity we wanted to minimize. So roughness squared times second moment is 2 thirds squared times 1 sixth is 4 over 54, I believe, is 2 over 27. And if you work that out, that's approximately 0 0.074. Good, so that was easy. Now, if you want to compare kernels, you can just go ahead, do that for different kernels, and then you get a number for each kernel, and you take the kernel with the smallest number. Instead, what you could do is you could try to solve this minimization problem. So alternative is find k, which minimizes, and now let's write f 
of k, which is the quantity we have just seen. So rk squared mu 2k. And there are constraints, namely k must be a kernel. So under the constraints, well, what are they? First, it must integrate to 1. That is the only real one. Let's just call that g. So g of k defined to be integral k of x dx equals 1. And then there are two more constraints, namely k is symmetric and k is positive. That were the definitions for a kernel. And first thing, instead of finding the whole k, so k from r to r, we can just try to find k as a function on the positive reals, and then by symmetry we know the other side, the negative reals, must be the mirror image. So we could just do, I don't know, so for this one, we can just find, I don't know, k, which goes from 0 to infinity to the reals, that takes care of the symmetry condition. And then here, that is a condition which we need, which is an inequality, though that's a bit trickier. You need to know what you need and what to do. So if you look at that first, maybe just until here, then that looks like minimization under constraints, which you maybe know from analysis how to do. And it turns out you can still do that. The only problem is here the unknown is a function. So what you need to know is a bit of variational calculus, but that can be done. And when you minimize this, you find some function k, which integrates to 1 because you had that as a constraint, makes it small. But it turns out that actually violates the positivity condition. So the function you get there, I forgot what it looks like, but it is a tiny bit negative on the outside. I think from memory, I haven't looked it up now, it looked like this approximately. I hope that's right. And then you need to know a bit more optimization to find the minimum with this extra constraint here. And it turns out with this constraint, the minimum is the Epanesnikov kernel, which is on our list. And if you check in the notes, I worked out that quantity for a handful of kernels. And amongst the ones we tried, the Epanesnikov kernel indeed has the smallest value. But what I'm saying here is you can do an analytical proof that amongst all kernels, even the ones we haven't tried, the Epanesnikov kernel is still the best. Good. And what I said in the middle now was, if you leave that constraint out, you get something which is a bit better on that criterion, but it's no longer a kernel because it goes a bit negative. Some people don't require kernels to be positive just for this reason. There is a function k you can use in just the same way we used our kernels. And that gives you a better mean squared error than the Epanesnikov kernel. The downside is your estimate for the density can now be negative because it's made up of copies of k. So it's no longer a density itself, which may or may not be a problem. So we are not considering this here. Our kernels are all positive, And for us, the best possible kernel, as far as mean squared error is concerned, is the Epanesnikov kernel. Good. Then just a small number of observations. First, the standard kernels, the ones in our list, have similar values of roughness squared times second moment. So while the Epanesnikov kernel is best in theory, the difference is nothing to worry about. If you use the triangular kernel or the Gaussian kernel, you don't lose much. And sometimes people don't use the Epanesnikov kernel, but prefer, for example, the Gaussian kernel, just because the smoothness of the estimate is given by the smoothness of k. So of k determines the smoothness of the estimated fh hat of x which is 1 over n sum i from 1 to n k h x minus x i. And from this formula, you see immediately if k is discontinuous, then f hat will be discontinuous. So the uniform kernel will give us discontinuous f hat. And if k is differentiable, then k h will be differentiable, and then f hat will be differentiable. And that's an advantage of the Gaussian kernel, because even the Epanesnikov kernel it has these two corners where the parabola hits zero. So that is not differentiable. And then f hat will not be differentiable. So if you want f hat smooth, 
you'd better use a smoother kernel, but you pay for that in bit because you have a slightly larger error as measured in the way we have just done. But I think all of these are minor considerations and the main message is any of the kernels we discussed will be good. Theoretically, the Epanesnikov kernel is optimal unless you need the estimate f hat to be smooth. In this case, you need to take a smooth kernel instead. Good.